The people of Galilee thought that they had seen the depths of iniquity when their land was ruled by Herod, the man of blood. Yet now his son and heir, Herod Antipas, the new prince of Galilee, strives to outdo his father's crimes. For he follows his lusts and breaks faith with God. He dares to defy the Lord of Moses by entering into unholy marriage with the wife of his brother. If we permit this, all of us will suffer for his sins. Your Majesty, he's here, the Baptist. He's here. Well? Well, well what? <laughs> well, uh, leave him alone. Oh, no. On march again, continue! Oh, what harm can he do? been out there for years in the desert, living on locusts and, 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 and prayers. He doesn't incite the people to rebellion. He asks nothing for himself. All he wants is to remain poor and naked. He would very much like everybody else to do the same. Oh, no. When the wedding festivities are over, I'll have him preach at the palace. You can hear him with your own ears. He's a very remarkable man. I'm glad there is somebody remarkable in Judea. Herod! Herod! The tablets of the law speak plainly. You may marry the wife of your brother when your brother is dead, but not while he lives. This woman, Herodias, is the wife of your brother, Philip, and Philip lives tetrarch in Iturea. It is written, I have seen thine adulteries and thine abominations. Woe unto them! Wilt thou not be made clean? Send back this woman to your brother. Repent! How can you allow this slander to continue? No, no, no. We decided to be clement on our wedding day. I'm not afraid of your power on earth, Herod Antipas. If I do not warn you, you will die in sin, and the Lord will ask me to account for your life. Quickly, into the palace! 